Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Rob Holland named 2017 U.S. National Aerobatic Champion. Worldview reports mission completion. Vice President Pence says America will lead in space again. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. It's October 9th and this is Airborne Unlimited. The 2017 U.S. National Aerobatic Championships concluded last week and Rob Holland from Nashua, New Hampshire was once again named the U.S. National Aerobatic Champion. This year marks Rob's seventh win, tying Leo Loudenslager for the most consecutive national champion titles. Rob also received the Mike Murphy Cup, which is awarded to the winner of the Powered Unlimited category. Nearly 100 pilots competed in this year's competition in both powered aircraft and gliders, vying for the title of the U.S. National Aerobatic Champion. 17 of those pilots in the advanced category flew for a chance to compete with the U.S. Advanced Aerobatic Team in Romania next year. This year marks the first time the National Aerobatic Championships have been held in Oshkosh after spending decades in Sherman, Texas. Much like Oshkosh's most famous aviation event, EAA AirVenture, the National Aerobatic Competition is reliant upon dedicated volunteers to make sure the event runs smoothly and each category is judged fairly. Worldview has successfully executed its first multi-day development flight of the high-altitude Stratolite vehicle. After five days in the stratosphere, this milestone clearly demonstrates the viability of the world's first-ever long-duration navigable stratospheric payload vehicle for commercial applications with global impact. Until now, our longest test flight occurred on August 27th and spanned approximately 27 hours. This is our first successful attempt at testing all of Stratolite's integrated critical systems over the course of multiple days. And we are thrilled with how everything worked, said Jane Pointer, Worldview founder and CEO. This is an enormous leap in our development program, and we are certain the Stratolite is going to forge a new path in how we observe, react to, and collect data about our planet. This milestone flight has met all customer requirements and technical objectives since launching on October 1st from Spaceport Tucson. During the mission, the Stratolite successfully demonstrated both directional steering and station-keeping trajectories. The vehicle also validated all subsystems, including solar power through day and night cycles, and altitude control between 55,000 and 75,000 feet. After the break, will America lead in space again? True Blue Power Advanced Lithium-Ion Mainship Batteries feature proprietary nanophosphate technology. They deliver three times the energy density and are more than 40% lighter than lead acid or NICAD alternatives. RTCA tested, FAA certified, available to OEMs today. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. In collaboration with NASC, introducing Sonics Aerospace, bringing you the Teros Group 4 UAS, the redesigned Tiger Shark Block 4, and the Subsonics Twin Jet UAS, all derived from flight proven manned systems, not concepts, real aircraft. More at sonicsaerospace.com. Welcome back. After a hiatus of 25 years, Vice President Mike Pence conducted the first meeting of the revived National Space Council last Thursday, saying that America will once again lead in space. Pence said that the intelligence community reports that Russia and China are pursuing a full range of anti-satellite technology designed to threaten our military's effectiveness. The U.S., he said, will refocus America's space program toward human exploration and discovery. That means establishing a renewed American presence on the moon, a vital strategic goal. And from the foundation of the moon, America will be the first nation to bring mankind to Mars. 
Pence said that America will renew its commitment to creating the space technology needed to protect national security and promote regulatory, technological, and educational reforms to expand opportunities for American citizens and ensure that U.S. is at the forefront of economic development in outer space. In the coming weeks, President Trump and I will assemble a user's advisory group partly composed of leaders from America's bourgeois commercial space industry, Pence said. Each week we share with you an online video that one of our viewers found especially entertaining. We call it our Aero Video of the Week. Dependable jump takeoff capability has been the holy grail in increasing the utility of gyroplanes for ages. Check out Dick DeGraw's most recent efforts. Search Rhino 2 Dick DeGraw's latest jump gyro on YouTube. After these messages, another Honeywell engine receives certification. Progressive Aerodyne Sea Ray Adventure offers Rotax 912 power, a basic instrument panel, and radios. Fly it away for under $120,000. Visit SeaRay.com for more details. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip with integral backup battery. Safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. The FAA has certified Honeywell's HTF 7000 family of engines for the Cessna Citation Longitude. Honeywell's HTF 7000 family has achieved more than 3.5 million flight hours and is fast approaching the 2000th production engine delivery in 2018, only 14 years after its first entry into service. This type certification marks the sixth application of the highly successful HTF 7000 family of engines. Specialist Aviation Services of the UK has been selected by the Cornwall Air Ambulance Trust to provide an Augusta Westland AW169 EMS under a 10-year contract starting in 2019. The AW169 will replace their MD-902 Explorer operation and will be based at the charity's Cornwall Airport New Quay headquarters. In its third annual 10-year business aviation market forecast, Jetcraft predicts that the global business aviation installed base of just more than 21,000 aircraft will surpass the 28,000 unit mark in 2026, growing 33% during the forecast period. Jetcraft's 2017 forecast calls for 8,349 unit deliveries, representing $252 billion in revenues to be realized by 2026. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope is now planning to launch between March and June 2019 from French Guiana, following a scheduled assessment of the remaining integration and test activities. Previously, Webb was targeted to launch in October 2018. Duncan Aviation's Battle Creek, Michigan facility has installed the company's first GoGo Advance L5 from GoGo Business Aviation in a Gulfstream G4 SP. GoGo Advance L5 is a complete Wi Fi system that operates on the GoGo Biz 4G network. This industry first installation will let cabin passengers take advantage of greater network capabilities and speeds that are up to three times faster than GoGo's 3G network provides. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. Gulfstream has launched a comprehensive and customizable suite of aircraft maintenance and flight operations services that aircraft owners, flight departments, and management companies can tailor to meet their specific needs. 
AOS, which will initially be available to new aircraft owners and operators, was developed based on feedback from customers who desire a seamless and simplified aircraft ownership experience. Aircraft Ownership Service is a customer-driven, comprehensive operational support solution that is the first of its kind in business aviation, said Derek Zimmerman, president of Gulfstream Product Support. Its signature feature is flexibility. Enrollees choose from a broad portfolio of services that best meet the needs of their aircraft throughout its life cycle. They also set the link to the contract term and receive a consolidated monthly invoice. Offerings in the Gulfstream AOS program include scheduled and unscheduled maintenance parts and labor, technical information, major vendor support programs integration, on-site operational staffing and support, and hangar accommodations. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. See you tomorrow.